Well, Milt Bearden, the very experienced CIA operative who ran things for the CIA in Afghanistan at one time, you heard him a short while ago, indicate he has some doubts whether it's Osama bin Laden, uh, Laden and Osama bin Laden alone, at least cautioning don't jump to that conclusion. Now, 60 Minutes 2 correspondent Charlie Rose has been talking to some other people who have their doubts. Charlie? Dan, it's a fascinating question this afternoon. I spoke with an author who points a finger of blame directly at Iraq. Dr. Laurie Milroy is the author of Study of Revenge, Saddam Hussein's Unfinished War with America. Dr. Milroy, you wrote about the 1993 bombing of the World Trade Towers. What did you learn about terrorism from that study and that book? I learned that um, Iraq was behind that bombing, which was an attempt to topple New York's tower, tallest tower onto its twin, and that, in fact, Iraq has been involved in a campaign of terrorism, which is more like war, and, in my view, yesterday's events were the latest step in Saddam's war against the United States. The prevailing wisdom is that Osama bin Laden was the instrument of this attack. I realize that, and he may have been involved, but there's another question, and that is, is bin Laden working with something that is much bigger than him, like Iraqi intelligence? Is he a front organization for Iraqi and perhaps other intelligence agencies? Let me understand you clearly. Do you believe that bin Laden did not have the resources to pull off the attacks of the planes against the World Trade Towers. On his own, he did not have the resources. What to do would this. he have needed from a state? <clears throat> he would have needed um, trained pilots who were willing to do uh, to sacrifice their lives. They're skilled pilots. There had to be a surveillance of airports and. Uh, a determination of where there was weakness in, in airport security and on which airlines one could um, most easily smuggle in the weapons that they used to hijack the planes. I think there was probably ha probably had to be some judgment about what altitude uh, the plane should attack um, the World Trade Center towers uh, to bring them down. So I think there were many uh, difficult uh, things that had to be done. The whole idea is, is rather, I mean, what's an odd term to use? I don't Im imaginative. I mean, who would have thought of using commercial airplanes a as bombs? This is not what um, bin Laden and his crew are about. Notwithstanding the attack on the USS Cole, notwithstanding the attack on the embassies in Kenya? My suggestion would be that in all of them, foreign intelligence agency is involved. We've set ourselves up for this terrorism because under the Clinton administration, we treat it as a law enforcement matter with the focus on arresting individuals and very little was ever, <clears throat> ever done about the role of states in this terrorism. So it has continued and grown far more lethal. Why do you think that the government of the United States did not recognize as you suggest, that this was a state-sponsored act? Well, some people in the U.S. government did recognize this matter, again, going back to the Trade Center bombing in 93, which was terribly important. Jim Fox, the director of New York FBI, believed that Iraq was behind that bomb, and so did many others in New York law enforcement, including the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. The federal prosecutors were certainly open to them, to that. Uh, among the people who've endorsed this work is, is Gil Childers, the lead prosecutor in the Trade Center bombing trial. And what happened, as I understand it, <clears throat> the White House was aware of the song suspicions of New York FBI about Iraq's role in the Trade Center bombing. You believe two things about Osama bin Laden. Number one is that he has become somehow demonized and also a boogeyman in terms of the United States. We have made him into a larger force than he actually is, and therefore he serves as a kind of decoy for the state. 
That's right, or a front organization. He is involved and he is a terrible figure, but we also must address the question of state sponsorship. Dan, the important thing that she says is based on what she learned from the FBI agent Jim Fox, who is now deceased, who believed strongly and wrote about the fact that there was a link in 1993 between that bombing and Iraq. She uh, looks at that and says there had to be some help for Osama bin Laden here, and she points the finger at Iraq. I've talked to a lot of people over the last couple of days who think bin Laden was involved. Many of them say, as you have heard from uh, earlier this evening, that he had to have help. Then the question is whether it's Iraq or not. And the best that I can say in terms of talking to people about her is that she does make a plausible case about 1993, along with what she discovered with Jim Fox, and that perhaps there is the link between that and 19 and 2001. Yep. Well, as she pointed out, he, she said he has to have trained pilots. Right. Well, he did have trained pilots, and they received their training here in the United States. One at a cost of $10,000 for the, the training, another at $9,000. That You don't need a state to give you $19,000 to get two pilots. And if you had pilots who had already received that training uh, and had been flying for other airlines in, in the Middle East and were willing to sacrifice their lives, then you don't even have to train them. And, and you, you have someone who was a pilot, and these, they fly in these simulators. And they are not just in the United States. They don't airline have to come just. Yeah, airline right, simulators. Right. I've been in an airline simula simulator in, in Saudi Arabia. Uh, and you can sit in that simulator, and it's like you are in an airplane. When we filmed in there, the cameraman, it was so realistic, got, seasick, got air sick.